too much. Hello everybody, I picked up this uh, Star Wars Metal Earth 3D model kit of the Millennium Falcon and I thought I'd go ahead and just do a quick video of, uh, of the assembly of this kit and uh, in case somebody out there was interested in, in buying one of these and, and seeing how they go together. So I'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside and then I'll just do a time lapse of the assembly process. You can kind of peel it open. Okay, so inside you get, there's two sheets, they're very shiny, of uh, basically it's kind of like, a, it's sort of like laser cut wood, but it's instead it's laser cut metal sheets. And basically you just pop out all these pieces and they fit together with a sort of tab and slot construction process. We have a sheet here with the instructions. So it's again the Metal Earth 3D Metal Model Kits Millennium Falcon. And this basically shows they recommend using some needle nose pliers or tweezers to help bend those little uh, little tabs they have there. And there's a few spare parts apparently, but mostly everything looks to be used. Briefly you can get, get in kind of an idea of what the steps involved are. So there's a lot of little pieces and so I don't really know how long this will take, but uh, um, We'll go ahead and get started. Is complete. There is quite a bit of detail. It's very, very shiny, so it's kind of difficult to see clearly. Here's the underside. While no glue and no solder is required, uh, you do definitely need tweezers and some type of pliers. Uh, mostly I was using these 
um, wire strippers because they have a nice flat end there and it was really useful for pushing in the little tabs to kind of flatten them out uh, securely and that, that worked out real well um, also these these tweezers I have the bent tips so you, it was helpful for bending uh, flat pieces down um, that needed to be bended and I use a screwdriver here mostly for wrapping round parts around so it's kind of a it helped make the uh, the curves and that you needed for the rounded the rounded parts and uh, that was pretty pretty much it. it took about two hours almost exactly to complete this kit um, I did it over the I did it over the course of two days it's recommended for ages 14 and up and I really wouldn't uh, give this to somebody very young um, it, it is tedious and frustrating at times to get some of the little taps in place and uh, you're going to end up poking your fingers and getting you know blood here and there um, because some of the metal edges are very sharp so that is another another reason not to give it to someone who's younger but uh, you know for a teenager or up it's uh, um, you know it's not overly difficult to do just kind of tedious and uh, again with no glue being needed um, you know it, it's not uh, um, it's not too difficult to put together and um, overall it was a you know decently enjoyable kit to do and something that you might want to check out if you're wanting to do one of these kind of things. So anyway, that's all and thanks for watching. Bye.